This is a yearbook from 1976. Keeping memories close. And here's me. Is easy for Terry Belair. We found our coats that we had left up there. <laughs> the memories on paper spread across her kitchen counter. Gosh, probably about 100. Represent survival. She had just graduated from birth at high school in 1976. She and a friend spent July 31st that year at a work party in the Big Thompson Canyon. So here's Estes Park. We got as far as about here. There, when 12 inches of rain fell in a matter of hours, a flood reached their car that Terry and her friend were in. If you open the door and the, the water's hitting the tires and it's still raining really, really hard, don't stay in the car. <laughs> she says they abandoned the car and started climbing. You know, trying to get handholds on anything we could. Spending that night on a ledge over the canyon. We could kind of see through the thunder, her car kind of starting to bob and then just get washed away. We heard loud sounds of scraping noises, like houses going by or big uh, pipes. Unaware at the time that 144 people would lose their lives in that flood. Bel Air says she was simply lucky. We started hearing helicopters. Rescued off that ledge and out of the canyon, but not without. There's my rock. A reminder of her luck. This is a piece of Highway 34, a section of it that survived right after the flood that I picked up right before I got into the helicopter. It's just a reminder for me that we made it, we survived, we were lucky. With flash flood threats seemingly happening more often now, a message. If you see things washing down the side of the hill, take heed, yeah. So off to the side of Highway 34 now sits this memorial near Drake in memory of those killed in the flood. Terry and many others still go there and visit. And as you can imagine, those that survived have a heightened awareness of flash flood risks now. Last year, for example, the gathering at the memorial was canceled because of flash, flash flood watches in the area. What an absolutely harrowing story, and yeah. she tells it with a smile now. Right, and just 17 years old they did that. I was telling her today, actually, I'm not sure how, what I would have done at that age, certainly. So. Yeah, all right. Luis, thank you.